lovely people and let's get into this vlog okay it's monday my parents left this morning so sad i love them here it was nice having someone in the house with me um because you guys know i don't really be having people over unless it's kayla or kylie um and you know some other friends here and there but honestly nobody else has been to my house except for kylie and kayla um so anyways i just left clean juice i got me a juice and my hummus toast this is the new pina colada one so let's see it's okay it's definitely giving a smoothie vibe but i have pineapple banana almond milk coconut milk no co coconut juice there's something else in there as well does it tell you on here no but anyways it's not bad it's definitely great for a day like this hot outside so yeah yeah my toast is right here about to run some errands um my fit for today is from gymshark love this set love this um collection that they did i forgot let's see whiting i can't really it has a name on here but i can't really read it <laughs> but anyways love this set i have it in like i think three different colors um you guys see the other one on my last vlog and then i posted wearing the green one on my instagram story i don't know if i wore it in a vlog but anyways so i'm about to go run some errands and then I am going to come back home, figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner. Well, I'm going to be thinking about that while I'm out. And then come back home and finish editing the vlog that's going up. So this vlog that was posted that you should have seen before seeing this one. It's kind of like a vlog of getting just where I've been kind of the last few weeks. All over the place, like usual. But we're going to do better, okay? Okay. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Me and Kayla have an appointment. We have a Botox date. Hers is at 145. Mine is at 245. So, of course, I'm going to go at the same time as her. Because um, you never know. After she's done, maybe they can take me a little early. Because I don't think it's going to take an hour. So, anyways. Update on my lips. I talked about it on my last vlog. Let me just get into that. Update on my lips. I love them so much. They're perfect. Um, I didn't do filler again. I just did a lip flip, which I absolutely love. She did Botox right here in these areas, and I can still move my lips, you know, just in case, you know, Botox kind of just, like, freezes certain areas. But this gave me a nice little flip, nice and plump. Love it. There's no more lines in my forehead. None right there either. Loving that. So we are going to, I'm not going to the same lady that I go to for my lips and my um, Botox. I'm going to a lady that Kayla actually had found online because I have always kind of wanted to do face balancing. Um, I feel, I don't know if I've said it in here, but I feel like I have multiple times. All my friends know, my family knows, like I just have this thing where I'm like, this side of my face is my bad side. I am like, I don't want to say self-conscious about it, but I don't like pictures taken on that side. I don't really, I don't know if you guys notice I'm always on this side. Um, I don't really like to take pictures straight forward. So if you notice in a lot of my Instagram pictures, I'm never like straight forward in my camera. I'm never straight forward and never really looking straight at the camera. It's kind of always like to the side because I feel like my face isn't balanced. I feel like this side is a little more sharper than this side. And I feel like that's just how I feel. Now, I'm not going to lie getting my lips done and my lips kind of more plump it kind of softened out this area i feel like and made it to where it's looking a little better so we're going tomorrow me and kayla are getting the same procedures um we're both going to do face balancing botox so i don't know exactly what all that entails but i have i think it's going to be like my masseters i was going to do that with my last appointment with um exceeding wellness with ty but i was like let me just wait because when it comes to my face y'all I don't want to change it to where I look drastically different. If I can help to where it really makes it look like I really haven't changed anything unless you really, really know me and really know my face, I don't want it to look like that. I want it to be very subtle, but yet to where I notice. And it still looks like I, you know, I also don't want to have something to where I pay all this money and you don't see a difference. Like, I don't want that because it's a waste of money. I want to be able to see my results. So 
we're gonna go tomorrow i'm gonna see what she says um i don't want to do a lot because like i said i want that natural look i don't want to change up my face because i am very confident in my face um i think i i think that my face is something that a lot of people would probably be like why are you even touching it but at the end of the day it's what i want and if it's going to make me feel more confident with the side of my face i don't mind doing it and i've been wanting to do it for a while really long time now and i made appointments and cancel because i'm just like i like kind of freak out each time because i'm like oh my god this is my face like i don't play when it comes to my face and yeah so i don't know we'll see tomorrow i might even punk i might even punk out tomorrow y'all i honestly might we'll see but um i also wanted to i've punked out on it twice too i also wanted to get my under eyes done because i suffer from very dark purple circles under my eyes and i've always been kind of insecure not insecure but it's always kind of been one of those things where i feel like oh my god like it just makes me look tired extra tired sometimes especially in the winter time when i'm so pale um and don't have a tan it just looks crazy and sometimes in the morning when i wake up and my face hasn't really adjusted for the day yet um my under eyes just look so dark and purple and i just don't like that because sometimes it makes me feel like i look dead sick and i've just always been like that i was just talking to my mom about it and she's like yeah you've always like had that since a kid and i know i've always had that i've noticed i noticed it i think in middle school or high school where i was like oh my god my under eye is always like so dark especially with me being so light especially in the winter time i literally get so light you guys and it's worse so i want to get that but i've heard mixed reviews on it i've heard that it doesn't really work it can kind of make your under eye have like a pocket and I don't want any of that so I would rather just keep my dark circles and rock out with it because it hasn't stopped me from anything with them for 25 years so yeah I don't know we'll see but definitely going to be asking a lot of questions going to take y'all along with me tomorrow to our appointment and yeah wanted to give y'all an update on that so we don't need any um so yeah, I'm about to eat this toast real quick and start running these errands. So let's go. It might be later, it might be now, but it's more to come. Say it's more to come. I need you to be your proud If you good morning happy tuesday so yesterday I ended up not vlogging because where I ended up going there was no need to vlog like I wasn't doing much like I ran into Trader Joe's you know you can't film in Trader Joe's um what is going on this morning and then where else did I go I ran one more other errand so it wasn't even worth the footage but today's Tuesday today is Botox date day um it is currently 11 a.m. and I'm about to go pick up a coffee from this place that I found by my house that you guys seen in my last vlog. Um, well, it's not really by my house, but it's kind of close. Uh, so this car is going entirely too slow for me. So I'm on my way there. Then I have a call at 11.30 and I will be on that call driving to my next destination. I am going to a... Um, consignment shop I'm going to be taking some clothes that I'm getting rid of um, like designer gallery type of app, gallery chrome hearts um, what else do I have in there some other things that I have um, some other brands I'm trying to get rid of because they're just sitting there taking up space and I want to get rid of them and make some coins because um, this place sells, resells a lot of these items. So I was like, let me go ahead and just sell it on here instead of doing like my online um, sale. So that's where, that's what I'm about to do. And then 145 is when I'm going to be going to um, our Botox appointment. And then what else then we'll just see what else the day brings um i'll probably go back to zara i have something to return at zara 
because I hate trying on y'all so I come home and just try on the things and then take them back <laughs> but let's go ahead and get this coffee I'll probably get a little bite to eat too because I need something in my belly as we all know your girl won't eat all day that's not good Okay, here is the toast, you guys. That's what it's looking like. Let's see, I've never had it from here before. So let's see, corn is different. It's not bad. And he's like, sriracha. <laughs> and for coffee today, their coffees are so good and creamy, y'all. Oh my God. Favorite place to get coffee now, besides my house. But I got the cinnamon, cinnamon, the cinnamon coffee. So I don't know if it's called cinnamon sugar or cinnamon, you know, brown sugar, cinnamon coffee. That's what this is. And it had like the cinnamon on the top. It's kind of mixed in, but. It's so good. Oh, it's so creamy, but I can still taste the coffee. Oh, I love it. Love coffee like that. Mm. All right, y'all. I'm about to get on my call. Catch y'all when I'm done. And um, yeah, I'll catch y'all when I'm done. <laughs> so I just finished where I had to stop at for my clothes. Now I'm about to pull up to the cosmetic surgery place. So I will see y'all in a second. You'll see me and Kayla together. I just got numbed. Can't really see because of the blurring on the camera, but I got my girl in the chair back there. She's on her chin. Let's see. see it until it takes about two weeks usually for your first time usually kicks in about like five days nope. but I always say two weeks because everyone's a little different but two weeks is when it officially kicks in
So the girls are about to come over. Hey Google, oh, hey Google, pause. Hey Google, next. You like that song, anyways. Hey Google, pause. The girls are about to come over for wine night at my house. Even though my house isn't done, it's okay. Um, it's just Kayla and AJ coming over, so um, I've literally been in that spot working all day on a vlog. And I'm just like, wow, I have a lot of footage, but it's because I've been gone a whole month and that's not even everything because I didn't even vlog the whole time I was like, um, within this past month of me not filming or vlogging. So, y'all know how I'd do. <laughs> but anyways, um, what bit me? Something bit me. Some bit me, boo-boo. Some bitch a mama. Some bitch a mama. <laughs> Anyways, so they're about to come over for wine night. About to get the wine out, get me a glass started, okay? Let me show y'all my little outfit for today. Let me see, let me see. So this outfit is from Story and has a mesh back here to match the mesh in the top. Don't mind all the lint. I've been sitting under my cozy skin blanket. That really got me for my birthday, which I absolutely love. So it's giving lint, but yeah. I'm waiting for some stuff to... Ugh. No. To airdrop from my phone to my um, laptop. Cause you know, I be half vlogging on my phone. I got a lot of footage in here. Like y'all didn't know I went to the Chris Brown and Lil Baby concert. It was so fun, so lit. Like who doesn't want to see Chris Brown in concert? Y'all, I had a ball. Singing my little heart out. Ain't no way I'm gonna let you down. Mm -hmm, right now. Mm -hmm, don't make you say you love the way you look at me now. <laughs> I can't sing, so <clears throat> that's the best y'all gonna get. <clears throat> Oh, boo. <laughs> Anyways, get down, Louie. Um, yeah, I'm going to work on this until they get here, finish up the last minute touches, and it should be up tomorrow, which will be August 24th. Took me literally all day. All day. And then tomorrow, I have my nail appointment at 1245, hair appointment at 230, which I'm going to be pretty much rushing to my hair appointment, but it's only like less than 15 minutes away. There's no traffic. Um, and then after that, I have to come back home and uh, a fit, well, pack and just clean up stairs. Like it's just clothes. I'm getting overwhelmed by my clothes, y'all. Um, and then I leave for Miami for the weekend for a friend's birthday. So I'll be there from Friday, come back Monday. Kayla is also going. So it's gonna be our first time in Miami together. We're celebrating our friend's birthday. So we're super excited about that because we've been wanting to go, he's so precious, my honey, um, to Miami together. So we're finally doing it. It's supposed to rain, but you know how Miami is on and off. So yeah, and then Kayla leaves from Miami on Monday to Barbados. She's gonna be there for two weeks. She's going on like a little solo trip. Um, her grandfather lives out there, so. Um, she's going to be staying with him and, you know, spending time with him and also just out there for, I think, like two weeks. So I'm like, mm, my girl wants to leave me. I know I haven't been vlogging at all, for real. So welcome back. <laughs> Happy end of August. I'm here. I'm alive and well. And I am um, just, you know, been focusing on me a lot and just, you know, doing what makes me happy and doing things that make me feel good and if i need breaks i'm gonna take my break sweetie okay and i'm just really focusing on me and <clears throat> my journey of me you know because i put a lot of people first and i think i need to start putting me first and realizing and really just you know settling into me myself what i really want to do how i want things how I view life, how I want my life to be, because there's so much I want to do in life, so much more plans and things I've been working on that I'm still working on. 
I have little bumps in the road because I get unfocused, which everybody does. Um, but I also have goals and I have things I really want out of life. And I think um, I've been looking for that and I need to stop looking for that. And that goes for relationships, that goes for work, that goes for a lot of things. Like I just have to realize things will happen. Everything is timing and God knows when to put certain people, certain things, certain opportunities in your life. And I just got a great opportunity that I'm so excited about that I can't share with you guys right now, but you guys will see here within September. You guys will see. So I'm so excited about this new opportunity. And I'm very grateful because I've kind of taken a break from doing certain things. <clears throat> just because I wanted to focus on just my YouTube and focus on my channel, what I really want to put out. So I have some big things coming and I'm excited about that on top of trying to furnish my house. Being an adult is crazy. Where you going, boo boo? Come here. Come here. I really need to go outside. He's trying to let me know. Anyways, they're about to be here soon. And um, I know. I'm going to take you out, okay? I know. So, yeah. I will catch y'all when they get here. But I'm about to take my baby out and pour me a glass of wine. Hair needs to be done. But that's tomorrow, okay? Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot I got some new wine gadgets, so I'm about to use them, okay? Kay was about to pull up. She about to walk in a minute. And then AJ should be here, so I'm gonna vlog this for y'all. But, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. So I definitely did not just vlog me using this, but I have to look up how to use this. I don't know if I kept the instructions. Like, I got it in there, but it didn't, like, go off, like, come out all the way. It came out halfway, and I had to, like, pull it out. So, yeah. This is our girls' a night topic <laughs> for the night. A lot of guys will marry a girl who, who will get with a girl so that they can have that, they can get with a girl too. Uh, but a lot of, oh shit, I didn't even bring what I needed. What you mean? I'll get it. The cover. Oh. oh. No, listen, listen. And me, I want to live like I was You like keep girlfriend. staring at her. I wanted to get in the train. You love her? You like looking at her? I wanted to get on a train. I wanted to go to a bookstore. I wanted to go to a coffee shop. This I wanted to talk about New York. <laughs> how much he loves it. That's why that's what Clint wanted to do. Go to art. Yeah, he's loving I wanted it. To to, I want to go see something on Broadway. I wanted, I just was like feeling the vibes yesterday. I was just like, yo, I really miss living in the city. That is not my idea of fun. No, me either. I was like, I don't want to go outside when I was I there. Good morning. Today is Thursday and my hair appointment is today, thank God, <clears throat> um, at 2.30. But right now I'm about to take some pictures because I'm, I don't know if I told you guys on here, but I'm doing a closet sale. I need to lift my, <laughs> I'm doing a closet sale. So I'm kind of about to take some pictures of things. So I bought these, you guys. These are, um, these are some Rossi's shoes, okay? They're so cute, right? They're 39, but I think I could have went for like a 39 and a half or 40. They didn't have them, they're like a clear. They're so cute, but my toes are kind of like crunched up at the top, and I don't know if I like that. So I don't know if I'm gonna put these in my closet sale, but, or I'm gonna just return them because I don't think anyone's gonna buy them full price, even though they are brand new. So I'm gonna take some pictures of some things that I'm getting rid of and I need to go pick up 
a pair of shoes that I, a pair of Renee heels that I got fixed. And then I'm gonna head to my hair appointment, finish up the vlog so it can be posted today. Yeah, girls' night went well. <laughs> girls' night went well. They didn't leave until like, well, Kayla stayed the night. AJ left at like 3.30. No, like at three. I didn't end up going to sleep until like 3.34. So Kayla stayed the night. She slept on the couch. This girl loves the couch. She sleeps on the couch at her house more than home bed. I don't know how she does it. I can't do it. I gotta be on my bed. So I will catch you guys later on and let's get ready for Miami. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm home. My hair is done. Sorry, the lighting's yellow in here. I just have those lights on. But I'm about to make me something to eat real quick, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and pack. I'm actually going to LA. For, so I'm actually going to LA for a day or two. Um, I'm still deciding, and then I'm going to be going to Miami after for our friend's birthday. Um, I had already planned on going to LA, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna vlog it in this vlog, but I think I'll, I might, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, because I'm going to a party, um, a private party. So I don't know if I'm really gonna be vlogging in there and you know, things like that. So if not, I'm sorry, but I am going to LA and then you guys will see me in Miami. So I'm about to make me something to eat. I need to do these brows. I need to get myself together because my flight is at 10, no, my flight's at 11. AM, I think, so wish me luck. It's already 9.30. Right. Made it. Strap for the trip. Toria, where did Toria go? She getting dressed? A little power pack. <laughs> we about to get dressed and get ready. All right. I thought that was so real, but that, that is got same. Do you want to Hey, girls, ready? Yeah. You ready? First time in Miami together? I know. <laughs> gang outside. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. Y'all ready? Yeah. I'd rather be hot though. Oh. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> don't I always do it? Mm. It don't even look right. Oh, I God. told you to come in there. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Did you see that, Mom? You saw that, Mom? You asleep? Mm -mm. You was asleep. Mm -mm. <laughs> you was asleep. You was asleep. That's crazy. <laughs>
Well, hello, my beautiful people. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just stopped and got me some Chick Fil A because the girl is starving. Your girl is starving. Didn't know what I wanted to eat, and I have errands to run, so I don't have time to really sit anywhere and really get good food so chick-fil-a is always the go-to can never go wrong with chick-fil-a so i'm about to prop this up eat my food because your girl is hungry starving like starving like not hungry like starving And I feel like <clears throat> oh my coffee. You know it's later in the day, but this one's cool. Could have been better when I made it home. I was rushing though, and I feel like the ice watered it down. But that's my fault. Miss you guys. Um, yesterday, y'all, um, was not in like a good headspace. I just wanted to do absolutely nothing, like not think about doing anything. Like, I was just one of those days that I felt like it was an off day. You know, like energy wise, mood wise, thoughts wise. I just think about, lately I've been thinking about a lot. Things I wanna accomplish. Things I wanna do. Things I don't wanna do anymore, I continue to do. Continue to give my energy to. It's a lot of things. I feel like we should do like a sit down and talk. <laughs> a little therapy session, right? So guys. Um, I ended up finishing my Chick-fil-A and <laughs> not, it's such a little bit, it's a test time. Um, oh, I just look like crazy, okay? Literally got my hair done, didn't even post nothing, didn't take no pictures, and now it's been like about five days and it's not like I'm fresh anymore. I'm supposed to be going to dinner, well, I'm going to dinner with AJ and Aaliyah tonight. So I went to a pony. Haven't done that in a long time. But I just left Target and Home Goods. I got some little fall decor, Halloween decor. Not much. Um, I'm deciding if I still want to do a Halloween party. Um, I mean, it's only September, but you know, I'm still deciding because I'm going to need to get things now before everything goes out of stock. So I just got a few things. Um, I'll show y'all when I get home, but yeah, it's Sunday and I am on my way home now. I'm about to get ready for dinner. We're going to MF Sushi, which I'm so excited because I've been craving sushi, y'all. I've had sushi in so motherfucking long. Okay, I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> but um, why my lash look like that? Like this lash been looking real sad and like, but I have a lash appointment tomorrow, so I'm dancing that. I also got some new gadgets from Amazon that I want to share with you guys. Some came in today, and I think the rest will be here like tomorrow and Tuesday. So I'll show you guys those. It's more so for content. So I will show you guys that. Yeah, I'm on my way home. I didn't vlog with y'all in the store because like I was just trying to go in and out, and I ended up picking up things. But um, I'll show y'all when I get home. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to show y'all me getting ready. <laughs> of course. What's new? Alright guys, so 
this is the outfit of the day. We have some Louis heels, Abercrombie and Fitch jeans, Wolper bodysuit, and this Zara uh, blazer, ponytail, my fave Dior bag. Let's go! Nobody is sharing the yellow though. Not one day. Do y'all like the tuna? And that look a little too. No, it's cheap. really good. Try it. It, it doesn't look like it has sauce on it. No. What do we eat? I don't know. Okay, so Brie has this stuff. She, I asked her what it is. She said tuna. But it's truffles on it. Truffles? This looks like caviar. No, truffles like the sauce. Oh, okay. I don't know, Brie. This looks real. No, try it. Tell me how it is. How about you try it too? Y'all both try it at the same time. Yes. Y'all should try it at the same time. Stop being a P U S S Y. Girl. Now I can't say pussy on the <laughs> oh my god. We're not recording. That's what I'm <laughs> No, that was so fucking funny, bitch. Oh my god. No, he the quad, the, it's so different. Oh it is, it's oh it's ready. the aperture. Oh my god. Cheers. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm really scared. All right. Oh. It's good. Like yeah. You're right. It's good. I wouldn't order it. No. I think it needs more sauce. I couldn't eat a whole plate of that. No. But it tastes like this little smoky too. Smoky? I love it. I love it. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stay away from that one. Well, it's not bad. More for me. I be trying to get into the raw stuff though. You know, that's why I got the kampashi so you can try that. I've been eating raw stuff. My mom put me and my brother on a sushi so young. Like we were like eight years old eating sushi. Oh really? Wow. Mm -hmm. We love our fancy mom. Mm -hmm. I probably started answering when I was like 20. Yeah, literally. Really? Okay, y'all. We're on our way to go get some hookah. What are, who are we if we don't get hookah? Like, who are we? We are not. Like, we can't just go to one place and then go home. It's very rare when we do that. We do do that some nights. We all get the memo like, okay, we're just going to eat and then we're going home because we got shit to do in the morning. I do have things I have to do in the morning. I have mad appointments. Louis has a grooming appointment. I have a lash appointment. What else? Gotta check. But we're about to go, I think, to Insta Blue. We are going to Insta Blue. It's only 7.30. Still super early. We might have a long night because we do have some other plans that we might attend later. But um, <laughs> let's see how much vlogging I will do. But anyways, I just seen... Um, <clears throat> The food was amazing. Food was great. Vibes were great. Glad to see my girls. I haven't done dinner, lunch, whatever with them in a very long time. So, Aaliyah has her new camera, y'all. And I might have to make that investment because, what? This camera looks like shit compared to her camera. So, I might be making a Best Buy brand tomorrow, okay? And I still need to give you all that update on my makeup, you guys. Uh, this is no foundation. Like I literally have on no foundation down there, which you kind of can tell a little bit. I feel like maybe not. I just have on concealer, blush, bronzer, did my brows, but that's it. It's literally like a 15 minute beat, and I love it because I don't be feeling like foundation. Like I be feeling like it's just too much sometimes, y'all. Like too much. It be making me look too much. I like a nice natural, flawless beat. Okay. Well, we're about to go to Insta Blue, so I don't think I'm gonna take my camera in there because I just know how I am when I get drunk, tipsy, and I start leaving shit down, and I don't like to bring things that I'm all set down. So I'm gonna be vlogging on my phone. But <clears throat> it's a beautiful day in Atlanta. <laughs> She looks distressed. Stressed. What's my girl looking for? You good? Let's go. <laughs> 
Well, hello. Today did not go as planned. Um, I planned on really vlogging, but Louis had to get his shots today because I completely forgot that <clears throat> his shots just expired. So in order for him to get a haircut, his shots have to be updated. So I had to schedule him an appointment, which I'm glad they were able to get him in today. So tomorrow he'll actually be getting his hair cut. He'll have the whole room, which I'm so excited because he is way overdue. Right now, I'm just making some Alfredo um, because I don't feel like cooking. And this is the quickest. And I have some heavy cream that I need to use before it goes bad. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I literally got home from running all the errands I did have to run today. And the news about P&B Rap really bothered me because for one, the video was wild. Like how do you record someone bleeding to death. What makes you pull out your phone when someone's literally dying? Like the things that people think about in moments like that just like bother me. Like I would be freaking out right then and there. Like I would not be on my phone. And then having people, this is my opinion, this is how I feel about it. And I feel very strong about it. And I'm going to stick with how I feel about it in my opinion. But people blaming his girlfriend for posting that location is blowing me. Like, it just goes to show how insensitive people are, how evil people are, how people just literally are just so heartless and just disgusting. Because we all post normal people, not saying I'm like super famous or anything, but I have to be careful on what I post. And sometimes, yeah, I have posted where I am in that moment. And, you know, it's not the best thing. It's not something I do all the time. I do try to avoid it, and I really try to keep up with not doing that. But sometimes I do. I'm living in the moment. I want to be feeling like a normal person. Like, I want to post where I'm at, what I'm doing, you know what I mean? So she's not posting that thinking someone's about to come and kill her man, her child's father, in front of her. Like, people are really saying she's dumb. She set him up. She's the reason he's dead. Yeah, she could have you know, sat there. She could have not posted it and none of this, not saying none of this would have happened because we don't know if the people that did kill him or whoever killed him got the location or information from her Instagram page. They could have been following them from wherever they came before. They could have just been some people in the parking lot and saw him and thought it was a lick and was like, oh, we, you see all that jewelry on him? Like, let's go. Like, it could have even been something that people were really plotting on. We just never know. So I just feel like people should really just be quiet sometimes and just don't say anything because you don't know what is really going on. Like you really don't know what be going on in people's lives. You really don't know the situation. You weren't there. You were nowhere near. You don't even know these people. Like I just don't understand. That's like when people talk about me and they swear, they swear they're so right about where I've been, who I was with, what I was doing. Half of the time, y'all be wrong. So wrong. 
And I'm just like, for y'all to sit here and blame this girl and bully her is crazy. This You don't know. This girl might end up killing herself because she really probably feels like it's her fault because she did post a location. So you have to think about it. Not only is she thinking about herself, she's probably thinking like, damn, I really am the one that killed my child's father. You know? And it's like, none of us really know what happened, but to sit there and blame her. I've seen people that I'm following that I've associated myself with, call her dumb, call her an idiot, telling her she's a, like, she should have knew better. Like, what? We are normal people. We should be able to post what we want when we want, not thinking someone's coming to pull up on us, to rob us, to kill us. Like, this just has me so mad, and I don't speak about politics. I don't speak about people when they die. I don't speak about no drama. I don't speak about nothing trending on the lines of it like that. I keep things to myself, and go on about my business. You know what I mean? I'm never the one to talk about topics like this. But this really bothered me because it just goes to show how insensitive people are. And I'm just like, the audacity of y'all. It just, it really hurts me and it really, like, I really feel so bad and I'm so sad and I'm so upset for her and I just been praying for her and her family and praying for her that she doesn't do anything to herself to harm herself. You know, I'm just like, you just never know what people are going through. And then what makes me mad is the people I've seen talking bad about her and bullying her were just online, strongly going with mental health, or with everything with the mental health. And it's like, y'all are just not, it's making no sense because y'all are preaching so much about mental health, health, but y'all could be really setting this girl up to really kill herself, harm herself, do something because y'all are on the internet bullying her as if this is her fault, which is crazy. And I've actually met this girl a few times and she is so sweet. Like, no, y'all don't even be knowing people. You don't know her. You don't know me. You don't know this person, this famous person. You've never been in the same room as them. You see clips, pictures, five second clips, ten, a minute clip on social media and think you know this person and think you were there. I just don't get it and I will never get it, but y'all need help. And I'm saying y'all and the people that, y'all, the y'all, y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't even have to explain anymore. But anyways, let me not overcook my noodles. Because I will do that. But, yeah, y'all, I was just, in it, like, that just took me out. I'm just like, ain't no way. People are that insensitive. Like, get it together, people. Let that be you. Let that be you or your boyfriend or your mama, your daddy. Like, bro. The internet is a crazy place. That's all I'm gonna say. And y'all just bullies. And God don't like ugly. And I believe in karma. You should too. Well, anyways. Yeah, so I'm, I am, damn. I shouldn't have done that. About to burn shit. Burn the damn butter. Because <laughs> I forgot this is on. So, yeah, I'm making some Alfredo, y'all. And the night's pretty much over. We're going to try again tomorrow <laughs> and get back into the vlogging. But I have so much work coming up, y'all. I have a couple of brand deals I'm so excited to be working with. And I'm just extremely happy because I'm just like, oh. oh, even though I just be going in my head and not being consistent, God still be blessing me. And I'm just like, oh, thank you. I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna show you I'm not taking this for granted. But I'm absolutely so excited for these next brands I'm working with and it's only the beginning at this point. Well, it's not only the beginning, but I've been started. You know, I've been that girl, but we're gonna turn into that girl, that woman, that boss. You know what I mean? I have a lot of things planned in the near future that I like to, you know, keep to myself because I'm very big on energy. And once you tell people good things, they be wishing bad. I swear. I'm telling you, I believe in that stuff. I also got some um, 
like home decor items for fall. Like I said, I'm still deciding if I want to throw a Halloween party. I still want to go and get some more Halloween decor things. I still have a hell of shit I need to get for my house. But what's new? It's almost a year living here. It's not done. But it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. So. That's that. Let me finish making this. And I'll catch on like two seconds. First of all, this sauce looks so good. Just a little leftover noodles in there. I got some extra here too, but. My plate is right here looking delish. Sprinkled a little parm majan up there. And I have a piece of garlic right in the oven. And I'm about to sit down and watch me a little dating, something on Netflix with siblings, I guess. So I'm about to watch that and get ready for bed. Cause I have to be up early. I have um, my cosmetic appointment at 10 then my lash appointment at 12 then louis um appointment and then i also have to get my garage fix so it's a lot i have to do tomorrow and this pimple oh, i haven't had a pimple y'all it's so long and this one hurts today i'm setting your first sibling challenge this challenge is called one of the winning pair will win a double Extremely competitive, and I got this. Got this. So good. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm on my way to my cosmetic appointment. I am following up with my masters. I saw that I got some stuff done, um, and with your masters, you have to go back a few times. So I'm going to do that today. Take y'all along with me. And then I have some other errands I have to do today I told y'all about. <clears throat> um, hopefully today is definitely a better day. Better energy. The internet was in a frenzy yesterday. I woke up today and was like, bro, it's still the same shit. I need to get off of this app immediately. So we're gonna have a positive day between us <laughs> without the phone and the social movies. So yeah, let's start our day. Good morning and yeah. <laughs> I do also think you might need a little bit of jaw too. A little bit? Yeah. Yeah, just look at her pictures. Okay. Could you back down for me? Relax. Back down. <laughs> 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 we just set the side. Look at her. Let me just kind of do some looking in the room. Okay. So that was it for the Do you, which one did you feel like hurt more? Um, lips or chin? The lips is just more stinky, I yeah. feel like. Okay, you're just more nervous. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right, guys, so I'm done with my appointment and I did more than what I thought I was gonna do, but I, so like I was saying, I didn't get anything done to my lip except for I got a little bit on the, my Cupid's bow and I kind of gave it more of a little bit of shape, but I did nothing to my actual lip. Um, I got a little bit of under eye filler. She said I needed a little bit of that for, I guess the, 
um, and having a little bit of, what does she say? Like it's kind of like sunken in a bit. She said it's really not gonna help with like the color, I guess. She said maybe it will a little bit, but it will definitely help with, I guess, the definition of the under eyes. So we'll see, but I'm like, might as well try it, I don't know. We'll see, but I've always heard like it doesn't really do much, but we'll see. If not, I'm never gonna do it again because it's a waste of money. Um, so then I got a little bit more, um, I did my master, but only on this side because she said this side is the side that needed a little bit of, like my muscle on this side was still coming out a little bit. So um, she also said I could use a little bit of jawline filler to give me more of a sharper jawline. But I just put that for my next appointment because I'm not sure if I wanna do that. Um, I do see where she said, where she sees that I do feel like I could use it. But right now I'm really satisfied with my face and I just don't want to do too much. So um, that is that. And um, I got a little bit of chin filler also today, which y'all saw. And that's like the most painful, honestly. Um, the lip is painful up there, but it was a quick little thing. Like this line didn't, I didn't feel nothing. And this one I did. The under eye pain was maybe like a three. But the chin girl, oh girl. But yeah, so that is that. Um, you know, this is me just being more transparent with y'all. And you know, I've never done anything else to my face before. So everything I'm telling y'all on my channel now that I've done, I've done. And it's not me keeping a secret or being hidden. Um, just being more transparent, open with y'all because I'm sure a lot of y'all do this and some people may not even know. Like, I don't even think y'all noticed I've done anything, <laughs> but that's how we like it. Besides like my lips. So that's that. It's currently 11. Okay, I'm because my phone died, but I'm in Ikea. Going to find those big dog, big, big dog curtain rods for my living room. So I hate walking in this place at all. Like I just want to go to that and be gone. That's it. Don't want to walk around that place. But. Whatever. Hopefully, it does what it needs to do. All right, so I got the curtain rods from Ikea. Now I'm on my way to Kirkland's to see what I can find because I haven't been in there since my mom has been here. Um, my parents were in town, so see what new things they have and if they have these picture, I mean, mirrors that I didn't get the last time that I want to put next to or by my bed on the sides above my nightstands. So, we'll see if they have those and see if they have some wall art. And then I'm gonna come home and eat my leftover Alfredo because of the shit was so much like did last night. I did my thing, I put my foot, toes, all up in it. So that's what I'm about to go do. And, um, or what I'm gonna make actually for dinner tonight, what I'm gonna eat tonight. And I really wanna wash the top of my hair because it's about that time. It needs a little bit of fresh. This. So, well, we'll see if I get to that, but I'm going over to Kirkland's. My lips are so swollen, my chin hurts. Oh, ooh, it hurts, it's so bruised, y'all. Ugh. And it be bruised to the touch and don't let you accidentally hit it or somebody accidentally touch it. That should make you wanna punch them right in it. It hurts, okay? So, I'm gonna get home and take some Tylenol to help. It's just like so tight down there. It's hella swollen right now. And it just feel like, my lips open, but yeah, jaw feels fine from the masseter, but yeah, we're looking cute. Lashes done. Um, I don't really 
really like getting them too full anymore. Like, I do kind of like the lighter look, but I'm not going to lie, y'all. The only reason I be going so thick and so dark and black is because I really hate getting my lashes done. I absolutely hate it. Like, I got my lashes done maybe a week ago, and I went and got them done today because I'm like, they're just a little too natural. <laughs> it's going to be hybrid, for me at least. So... I like when they start to fall out a bit, but I just hate getting my lashes on, so I'd rather start off thick and work my way down. <laughs> my head is literally pounding, y'all. I just got home from Trader Joe's. <clears throat> About to make me Alfredo again, but I got some chicken. I already had chicken here, but I didn't thaw it out today. So. I got some, but anyways, I'm making Alfredo again, but I wanted to show y'all what else I picked up. Interesting. So I got this instant boba kit. Cute. Gotta try that, never tried it. I got this vegetable pad thai frozen meal and this bulgogi beef fried rice kimchi. I love stuff like this on nights I don't feel like cooking. Like if I didn't crave the Alfredo again, I probably would have had something like this. Um, I got me some Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese to put in my Alfredo tonight. Change it up a bit. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have a weakness for these blueberry muffins from Trader Joe's. They're just so moist and soft. I really shouldn't have bought them because these will be gone in four days. Okay. Lord Jesus. And I just got me some raspberries and strawberries for some smoothies. Um, heavy whipping cream for my pasta. Some more Parmesan cheese for my pasta. And some sweet chili sauce for these chicken. They're like a vegetable pastry and they're so good. Um, my mom actually had bought these and she left them here and she was like, you need to try them. But last time I ate them with sriracha, but I feel like they'll be even better with some chili sauce. So this is a good like daytime snack while I'm working. Super easy, just pop it in the oven and they're done. And they're very, very flavorful. So we gonna get this food going. It's already eight o'clock. The garage guy is just now about to get here. Crazy, I know. Um, and I'm about to get on the phone with Imani, my bestie from back home um, while I'm cooking. So catch y'all. Maybe tonight, I don't know. <laughs> basic bitch dinner is served okay and don't judge me the pan I made the chicken in I did not feel like scrubbing it after making the chicken so that's why I made the sauce in this pan but it's still gonna taste the same I'm watching I'm still watching the siblings dating show it's very interesting so that's what I'm watching I need to cook with someone like have some time with them so I'm just gonna see what other people Hello and happy today, Wednesday. So today I have a lot of things I want to do, need to do. Um, great news. My other two chairs from my dining room table came in. They're downstairs. Um, I'm probably going to make them in the garage. Last time I made them up here, but I think I'm going to just make them downstairs in the garage and then just bring them up <clears throat> to save the mess and having to go back downstairs to put the boxes down. Just save the mess, you know? <clears throat> so they're here, so I'll have a full dining room table today. Um, I got the curtain rod, the Vidga, Vidga um, rods from Ikea yesterday, so I wanna put those up. Hopefully I got enough. Hopefully it comes out the way I want it to. Um, 
And I want to hang up these mirrors that are above my, um, the console tables next to my fireplace, y'all have seen. And what else do we have? Um, um, what else? I had something else. Don't remember. But anyways, right now, oh, also, I think I want to um, add, well, I told y'all before I want to do the vidkas in my bedroom also. So if they go up here nice, then I'm going to add them to my bedroom, which will, I think, really make the space look not as plain. Like, I honestly, I haven't been shopping for my bedroom at all. Sometimes I look for stuff, but honestly, I just want to get my downstairs done because I'm down here. Majority of the time, like, literally, I don't spend time in my bedroom unless it's one of those days where I just want to be in my bed all day, which is rare. Um, and then when I go to sleep, that's the only time. So... I don't know we'll see but i am thinking of this i don't know if you guys remember my old house i had these two gray chairs in my sitting room in the old house so they're in the guest bedroom right now and um i think i'm gonna bring those upstairs and put them in front of my bed i had them like that at my old house i always used to switch in my bedroom but i used to have them in front of my bed but i just want to put something right there just because my room is so long like it's a very long room so i have a lot of space there's a lot of space for my bedroom to the tv and sometimes i think i just want to like sit on a chair and just chill without getting in my bed so that's that um and yeah i just have so much i still want to get for this house like i just i'm having the most trouble i don't know what it is i don't know I'm having the most trouble finding certain things and I feel like it's just taking me forever and I just want my house to be done but it's hard when it's just me on top of working on top of traveling on top of actually trying to find everything on my own sitting down taking the time looking online taking the time to drive around to different places okay I'm a one machine woman and listen I'm getting it done but it's taking me a while and it's I'm getting frustrated. So anyways, I am about to go online. I have a whole bunch of items that I have to pick out um, from Pretty Little Thing because I'm actually on a contract with them. They reached out to me. I'm actually on a contact contract with them coming up, so I have to pick out my clothes, and I'm going to be doing some posts with them. So I'm going to be... A lot more active on social media um, when it comes to posting because now I have to post now I haven't taken any sponsorships I haven't signed any contracts within these last three months just because I wasn't mentally ready to have to be dedicated and make sure I'm getting things in at the time they need to be turned in the deadlines but now I am back in that mode and I am trying to get back into the swing of things I was starting out with just doing vlogging you know on my own time which is fine but I want to get to a point to where I actually have to turn things in at a certain time um and you know hold myself accountable and make it to where it's like okay now I really have to get up and film this content and do this content because I'm signed to these brands and it's money on my, on the line and I signed a contract that I have to do. So I am um, actually about to do that right now, pick out some outfits, cinnamon, and then, um, then I'm gonna start on my house activities, drinking my coffee. I kind of showed y'all a little bit, not really, but whatever. Uh, I never really, oh, and I never showed y'all my new like fall pieces that I got, but I'm gonna try to show that to you later. It's not much, honestly. So if I don't get to it today, I'll try to get to it tomorrow. I just really wanna get my house done. I'm like, do I wanna be the handy woman or pay someone? But I'm like, I have to really stop being lazy. But it's like, I feel like I'm not being lazy because at the same time, I'm going out, getting all this shit. <laughs> then I have to come home, take everything out boxes, look at instructions, hang it up. Like, <laughs> it's my man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we don't need no man sis we gonna get it done okay so um i also wanted to come up here and talk for a second mind you let me close my laptop and let me just talk really quickly so 
You guys know, in this video, you have seen about me getting things done to my face. So, I'm not going to lie. I think I said it yesterday when I was driving in the car. But I was a little nervous on having this into my vlog and putting it on my channel. Um, I vlogged it just in case. Um, but I just know that... When it comes to plastic surgeries or when it comes to getting things done to your body, changing things to your body, um, cosmetic surgeries, cosmetic fillers, injections, whatever the case is, there's a lot of backlash that comes with that. And I never understood it because it's like, if that's what you want to do with your body, do it. If you have the funds, the money to do it, do it. If that is what's going to make you feel better about yourself or, you know, make you feel good about, you, like, not doing it for anybody else but yourself, why not do it? What is the big deal? Now, I can understand people do go overboard. People go overboard. And that is when I'm like, okay, there has to be boundaries. There has to be a line drawn. I completely get that. But, okay. <clears throat> so, like I was saying, um... You know, I just be feeling like, let me get the camera set up right. All right. <clears throat> so, where did I leave off at? Because I had to delete some stuff on my camera because I'm running out of space. Um, what did I leave off at? Yeah, so I was hesitant of adding this in this vlog because there's so much backlash. And, you know, I get, I don't know why, but I get a lot of hate. Not a lot. I get a lot of good comments, but I get a lot of hate also. And, you know, people, I don't know, people just think they know my life, think they know me and think that they just live my life with me and literally are like with me every single day. But <clears throat> I decided to do what I did to my face because I'm a grown ass woman. I make my own money. I make my own decisions. I pay my own bills. And who's going to tell me I can't do it? Okay. Now, I am very much, you guys know, I am someone who enjoys the natural things. I damn near don't wear makeup. Half of my vlogs, I pro some vlogs, I don't think I wear makeup the whole entire vlog out of all of those days. Um, I only put on makeup if I'm going on a date, have girls night, and we're going to dinner or something. We're going out um, if I have to shoot content, which I haven't been doing lately because... I, like I just said in the beginning of this part, um, I haven't been accepting anything. Um, and if I feel like I want to just make myself look a little more alive, I'll throw on a little bit of blush <clears throat> and bronzer. But <clears throat> I decided to get what I got done to my face because I, for one, this side of my face has always been like my bad side. And... I just feel like, you know, if I can tweak it a little bit and make myself like I already am comfortable with like I've already I already was comfortable with how my face looked before. You guys know I started out with getting Botox. The, the very I'm gonna tell y'all how it all started. So the very first thing I ever did in my face was get Botox in my forehead. Okay? That's not changing the way you look. Did that because I get creases in my forehead and I don't like and this was when I used to wear like full on full foundations whenever I would go out. Now I don't even really I've gotten it to where I know how to um, play with my makeup and I don't have to put as much product on my forehead when it comes to foundation and things like that. So it doesn't it won't crease, but it won't even if I did a full face of foundation, it won't crease now because of my Botox. And I just didn't like the fine lines and I didn't like how when I did that, when I would raise my eyes, I would have the the creases and wrinkles I guess um so that's how I, that started and I was getting that maybe two three times then I went to which I still get um and then I started with my then I went to my lips and I was so nervous about my lips when I tell you it took me months like six months I would go back and forth on should I do it should I not made appointments canceled it because I was just like I just don't want to mess up my face like I'm just so scared like I just don't want to look crazy like, I am one of those people where I don't want to look different. I don't want someone to look at me and be like, what the fuck did she do to her face, you know? 
So I'm doing a lot of my research and I'm taking my time. And even though when it comes to fillers, you can take them out, but why spend this money to have to take them out? And I heard that it kind of hurts. It hurts when um, you take them out. On top of that, you're paying to get it in just to have to go back to pay to get it taken out. So I'm not trying to do that. So did it with my lips. And at first I was like, Wow, I really like this. Jill really liked it. It went through all different stages because once you get your lips, they're going to be super swollen. They're going to be bruised. They're not going to settle for a couple months. I think my lips finally settled within like, like really settled two months. Like at first I had like a little bump right here and I was nervous about that because I did research, research and they said that you can get bumps and things like that from the filler. And when I went for my two week follow up, she was like, we'll give it like another week and it should go down, which it did. So um, I would say within like a month and a half, probably like a good month and a half, not two months, probably like a month and a half, my lips finally settled to where it was like the shape wasn't a little too, like at first my shape was kind of a little, not weird, but it wasn't like a full on like nice like lip look. I like the plumpness of it. I did like it when it was a little swollen, but I just wish it was swollen with the shape that I have now. So. Then after that, I was like, I want to do something else. So I was like, I want some, there's something else I need to tweak to my lips, but I didn't want to get more filler because I'm just like, ah, I don't know. So I, um, went for, what did I go for? Oh, I went to go get my, I think it had been like six months already, six, nine months. I can't remember. And I needed to go get Botox on my forehead again. So I got Botox on my forehead and I got Botox right here. I never did Botox right here, but I did it that time, and I'm glad I did it. So I can't, you won't see, like, the lines and stuff right here. So I asked her about my lips, like, what should I do? Like, I don't know if I want to do too much. I don't know if I want to do half a syringe in my lips. And she told me about a lip flip. And I think I told y'all about that in my last vlog. So I got a lip flip. Made a difference literally the day of. And still is there. Like, I can still see the difference. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, this gave me what I wanted. A lip flip kind of just gave me, like, I just wanted it to be a little more shaped and up a little bit but i didn't want to put more filler in it so and i'm really big on you know when you have a lot of filler in your lip and you turn to the side you can see it and i don't like that i don't want people to think i don't want people and i don't want to, well, i don't really care what people think but i just know me personally like when i take pictures things like that i, I don't want to look at myself and see that I, that's just i don't like that look I don't want it to look like there's something in my lip. I don't want it to look like there's anything done to my face. So now as y'all see, I went and did some work to my face. And when I tell y'all, I was so nervous. I was so nervous, like so, 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 so nervous because when it comes to your face, you cannot play with it, okay? And me, like I said, I am very comfortable in my skin. I didn't think I was ugly. I don't think I was ugly. Didn't think I didn't look nice. Didn't think my face was, didn't think that my face really needed work. I just knew that there are things, cosmetic fillers, cosmetic, all of this that you can do to your face to make yourself look even better than what you do now. So why not? I was nervous because I'm just like, oh, like I'm, a, I'm really big on What's the saying? Don't touch, don't touch something. Why touch something that's not, I don't know, something that's not broke, why touch it, whatever, right? So I was like, oh, this might not be a good idea because there's really nothing wrong with my face and I might really just make myself look crazy. So I was like, you know, I do have this side of my face where I feel like it is my bad side. Like I just feel like it doesn't match up with this side of my face. So I was researching, and also me and Kayla had been talking about it for a while. She wanted to get it done, too. It's called face balancing. So face balancing considers cheek filler, um, jawline, chin. And I was like, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. Like, I was never expecting I was ever going to do anything to my face. Put anything on my face, put any filler on my face besides on my lips. Like, that was it for me. I was like face balancing. Okay, I looked at the pictures. Oh, now this looks good. Like it's like a difference, but it's not like what the fuck did she do to her face? You know what I mean? Now some doctors, if you don't go to the right doctors, it could be a what the fuck did you do to your face? You know. So as y'all see, I got cheek filler. I got 
jawline filler and I got chin filler and I did my masseters also. So masseters is, it helps with the slimming of your face, but I don't, masseters kind of like is one of those things where you might see a difference, you might not just based on how your muscles are already in your face because it's a muscle relaxer. So if you grind your teeth at night, that's a really good way to stop that. So you really may not see a difference in like the slimming of your face, but if you grind your teeth at night, that will really help you. So I did all of that, as y'all saw. And when I tell y'all, I was freaking out when I got home because I was like, what the fuck? So I have videos and things of how I looked and um, I don't know if I have it on the vlog, but you'll maybe throughout the vlog you might see like how my face, because my face was swollen for a few weeks, and then she put a lot more filler on this side than this side, so this side of my face was hella big and hella structured, hella like chiseled for like a good week and a half, y'all, and I was like, Kayla, what the fuck did I do to my face? Like, I was walking around the house, y'all, looking at every mirror, I was doing mad videos on my phone, sending them to her, and like, I'm like, girl, what did I do? And... There was more on this side because this side of my face is the side that was a little flatter that needed more definition. So she only did a little bit on this side but did more on this side so it can match up to this side because that's what face balancing is. So I was like, bro, what did I do? Like I was like, I'm about to make an appointment to take this shit out right now. Like right now. Like I can't look at myself like this. Like this is crazy. But it settled in finally and I, I when I finally was like, okay, it's good and I love it. And it was, I feel like it finally like settled was when we got to Miami. And I was like, oh shit, bitch, my cheeks, my face is looking good, okay? And I was just like, okay, money well spent. And Kayla was telling me, girl, you just have to relax. Like it has to settle. Like you're still swollen right now. You're still bruised. Like it's going to settle. I was like, bitch, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> like, I don't know. So I waited it out and I am so, so happy with my results. Like, I mean, so happy. I was freaking out for like the first week and a half, two weeks before I went to Miami. I was in bed at night during the day, just kept pulling on my camera, looking at myself or going in the mirror. Like, bro, what did I do? Like, I felt like my chin was so sharp. I felt like my cheeks were so high. And I was just like, bro, I look like fucking handsome Squidward. My friend AJ told me I look like handsome Squidward. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what did I do? So, I would put the videos up here, but I'm not going to lie. I don't trust y'all. I don't trust y'all. And y'all not about to screenshot me looking crazy and be like, oh, Brianna fucked up her face and had me up on. Because I know how y'all weirdos are. Y'all going to make a clip and make it seem like I'm fucked up and I got botched. And it's like, that's the only clip y'all pull and not show the rest of how I really look now and what I just explained. I don't trust y'all and I'm not about to set myself up like that to be on the internet like, internet like that for the rest of my life. So y'all took all that trust because y'all take one thing and run with it and will remix something and make it seem like it's something it's not. So I think I would rather keep that to myself. But just know you are going to go through a phase of being very swollen. You're going to be bruised. My chin bruised immediately, like, throughout the day of me getting it the first time. It was blue down here. Um, my cheeks didn't really bruise, but you could feel it, and it felt bruised. Um, and you had, like, the sensitive um, sensation to the touch. Like, girl, don't accidentally hit it because, oof, hurts. So, um, I got all that done, and I am very happy with my results. And I will continue to do it once I need to go back. Um, I forgot how often you have to go back. It, I think it just kind of depends on you and how often you want to go back and how often it kind of like lasts in your face. So as y'all saw yesterday, I went back and I was just going for my follow up for my masseters. And she was like, you know, you need a little bit more in your chin. She showed me like the before pictures and the now pictures. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, people just want to get money sometimes. But no, she was really showing me and I can see the difference. And I... I honestly, when I went in the first time with Kayla, I didn't expect to have to get all of that, honestly. I thought maybe a little bit of my cheek or a little bit of my... Actually, I didn't expect to have to get anything in my cheeks or anything in my jaws. But they showed me and I was like, oh, wow. I need all of that? Are you sure? Okay. So, um, 
she showed me the pictures and the before and afters girl you really could see a difference she told me my chin was kind of pushed back a little bit i never even thought my chin was an issue i never looked at my chin and was like i need to do something to my chin like my chin was nothing on my face that i ever looked at that i needed to touch and she explained to me and she was like no you actually do need stuff in your chin i think i need it she said that first of all kayla always talks about her chin and how she thought her chin was so short thought it was da -da -da -da. and i was like bitch what come to find out we get there and she's telling me i need more more in my chin than kayla so i'm like really I'm like, okay but i see why and i see the difference now my chin was kind of back and it was a little short and it made my face look kind of not it just made it like kind of like stop and short and like when i tell you i was like she knows what she's doing she knows what she's talking about because now i see a huge difference and uh not a, like i see a difference and i just love my results so she gave me a little bit more further my chin yesterday which i'm glad i did didn't expect to do that but i'm glad i did and she did tell me that you know i could use more um filler in my jawline so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just like let my chin heal and let it right now it's like bruised because it just happened yesterday and it's um swollen right now so this isn't really how everything is going to look it's going to still settle so i think i will go back for more jaw because i she showed me the pictures and she was like you could use some more jaw filler just to give it that more slimmer sharper look because from the sides like you'll just have to see the pictures but i see where she says i see where she could say i see where she mean i see what she means when she says you know if you just want a little bit more slimmer i mean sharper jawline get more filler but um when i went out the other day and i had on the blazer and i was out with Aaliyah and aj those pictures i took i was like my face looks incredible my face looks great and this was before i went and got the second round of chin filler so i told her i'm away i have a month appointment to go get my jaw like i have an appointment to follow up for some more masters and then i put on their jaw fillers just in case i do want to get that so it's a month from here so on october 13th um i'll decide if i want to go and get jaw filler i don't know i might go sooner i don't know we'll see but i love my face okay and i'm happy with my results money well spent um everything cost not this time but my first time i went and got the face bouncing everything came up to around 1800 dollars, and that was for cheek filler masseters jaw filler and chin filler and came up to like 1800 this time i just went i didn't expect to spend that much but i spent i think i told you yesterday like 800 dollars and i she did filler under my eye which i do see a little bit of a difference i'm not gonna lie i woke up this morning and she told me that it was basically because i had a little bit of um hollowness and i never really noticed that i, I think i was just always looking at the purpleness but the hollowness i definitely seen the difference this morning of how it kind of filled it in um and i feel like my dark circles circles weren't as purple this morning so did that did my masseters and did the chin that came up to like 800 um masseters are pretty cheap i think i was only gonna spend like maybe 120 for my masseters i thought i was gonna get it on both sides so it might have been cheaper actually because i think it's like 40 dollars or something like that per Per unit or however much they use so I just got it in my left side because my left side muscle was still more out there than the right so yeah I'm really happy with my results and I might go back and get jaw filler I feel like I probably will just knowing how I am um and I'm just so happy with my results and it's like it's not a lot like if you didn't know me like honestly y'all I'm not gonna lie I didn't even tell my mom when I went to go see her when I after Miami and I stayed with them for a few I stayed with them for like a like five days after Miami uh, I went to go see them because they live in Florida so I ended up staying with them for a little bit and they, nobody said anything and I was still like only maybe a, I don't even know if I was a month out then might have just been like three weeks my mom didn't say anything and my mom knows my mom knows when I do something my mom knows me so well like she didn't say anything and i know that if it was something crazy drastic she would have said something so i'm like all right i did good okay so i'm loving my results and i was just you know nervous to come up here and tell you guys about it just because there's so many negative people in the world like i just don't understand and i feel like the people that have shit to say about what people do with their bodies their face 
the decisions they make in their life, the way they spend their money. Like, I just don't understand why people feel like they have the say so or the the audacity to tell people how to live their lives. Like, like, like I said, there's boundaries when you're doing too much, but I feel like the people that are insecure, aren't comfortable within themselves, don't like the way they look, feel like they're ugly, feel like, you know, they're not doing good in life. Take that energy and those thoughts and put it on other people that are comfortable within themselves, that are able to afford to tweak things to themselves, to their lives, whatever it may be. Because how can you tell someone that they shouldn't do something to their own body? You're not paying for that. You're not losing money from that. You're not losing sleep from that. You're not, it's not benefiting you. It's not taking away from anything in your life. So I just don't understand. Like, I just can't see myself going on somebody's picture or, or, or comments on any platform they have and telling them, Louie, Louie, no. And telling them, why did you do that? Why would you spend your money on that? Why would you do that to your face? Da, 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 da. Why is it bothering you? Why is it making you so upset? Why? I don't understand. So, you know, I know I'm going to get a lot of backlash and a lot of negative comments for this video because people are going to be like, oh my God, you were so beautiful before. Now you messed up your face. I can see people saying that already. And they know damn well I did not mess up my face because there's really... Honestly, I've been up I my my last vlog. I think my last vlog there was footage of me in there with my face. I could be wrong, but I've been on Instagram and like I guarantee you a lot of y'all didn't even know. Um so I know I'm going to get a lot of negativity for this, but this is just me being transparent and me trying to be more transparent and um, relatable with you guys because I know a lot of you guys have probably already done this to your face have already done things to your face and it's like I just want to be able to relate to y'all and not feel like I can't be authentic with y'all and I don't want to hide things from y'all so and I just wanted to like you know come up here and explain to y'all what I did just in case some of you guys are looking to do something like this and want to see how it looks how much it costs the outcomes things like that and give y'all a little information on it but, um, I know I'm going to get so much backlash, but here lately, I just don't understand why the world feels so entitled to tell people what to do with their life. Like, why do people have to buy a house? Why do I have to buy a house? Why do I have to buy this? Why do I have to have this in my name? Like, I'm so young. Like, I have so many more years where I can do things. If I don't ever want to buy a house, if I don't ever want to, what? If I don't ever want to, like, say, if I, I'm starting my business, still working on that. But say if I didn't ever want to start a business, so what? Didn't have to. I don't have to. I'm doing what I want to do. Like, people just feel so entitled and people are just so negative And, like, I just don't understand me trying to tell somebody I don't know. That I've never been in the same room with, never, probably never even been in the same room as this person. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of you guys have met me before in person, but I'm hoping y'all aren't the people that are behind the, the internet talking shit about me. And then you see me all up in my face. I hope you're not like that, but I feel like there are people like that. Um, but, you know, I just don't understand that. Like, mind your business. One thing about me, I mind my motherfucking business. Excuse my language, but I mind my business. I live in my own world, like my own bubble. Like, I've never let anybody else's life drama affect me. Never. And I never have been the type of person to even give that much of a fuck, okay? Like, never. I am me. I'm comfortable within myself. And I be so out the loop sometimes that I don't even be knowing the drama that be going on. I don't even be knowing certain people don't like me. And I'm like, well, Damn. I thought you liked me. I thought we were cool. I was commenting under your pictures. Or I was da 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 And it's like, oh, these people really don't even like me. And I'm like, for what? Like, honestly, I'm the type of person, and I say this all the time in the most respectful, humble way. If you don't like me, it's something within yourself. Because I'm not a mean person. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not stuck up. I'm just me. And I stay to myself. And I stay in my circle. And I think that upsets people because... 
they never can really find out what's going on with me. They can, they feel like they can find out maybe a little bit or they can get a little piece of what is go going on in my life when it comes down to how I make my money, which a lot of people know how I make my money. I mean, this is my career, my job. Um, and people want to know who I'm dating, how I have certain things, but it's like, mind your business. I don't be worried about how you get shit or how, you know what I mean? And I'm talking about people on the internet, subscribers that I thought really liked me that talk shit about me, you know? So I just wish people would just understand to live their own life and be worried about themselves and not other people because it will make life so much easier and life will be so much peaceful. Like my life is honestly very peaceful, y'all. Like I don't do drama. I don't bicker, go back and forth with people. Like I don't even have a lot of people in my life to even do that with and the people in my life that are in my life, I'm not doing that with them. Like we don't have that type of relationship. Like yeah, me and Kayla might bump heads sometimes, but we're fine by the next five minutes. Like she got on my nerves, I got on her nerves with that. So we're damn near sisters, y'all. Like siblings. Like you talk too much. <laughs> like just give me a second. You know what I mean? But moral of the story is because my camera's about to die. Do what makes you happy. If you can afford it, if that's what you want to do, and you're not taking it overboard to make yourself just Make yourself look like something for somebody else on top of that and you're not doing it for yourself, I don't recommend. But if it's something you deep down want to do, you've done your research and you're able to do it, why not? And do things on your time, your pace, what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you happy. And don't think, do things for other people. And don't let what people say to you get to you. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. I don't care what people say. And people talk a lot of shit about me and I'd be so confused because... I'm just so unproblematic. Like, I'm the most unproblematic person you probably will ever meet. Because I don't care. And I just don't care. <laughs> don't care. It doesn't benefit me. It doesn't take away from me at all. So, yeah. That was my message. And you guys take it how you want to take it. I know this will upset people. Because I'm me. <laughs> I'm me. And people don't like that I'm me. And I mean... Like, if you want to be me, sis, if you want to be my friend, just say that. You don't have to talk shit about me. I'm actually very cool. Because <laughs> a lot of people think I'm a bitch. And I'm like, if you, I met, a, I met a good amount of y'all subscribers, people that follow me. And like, so I'm taking a break, eating my leftover, eating my leftovers for lunch. And then I'm going to get started on attempting to put these curtain rods up it's like i gotta take them the other ones first but what i'm gonna do is real bad i'm gonna just go ahead and put the other ones up since it's got to be all the way at the roof the top of the ceiling i mean and then i'll take the other janky ones down but my camera cut off earlier while i was doing my talk but basically be humble do what you want to do do what makes you happy don't give a fuck, flying fuck about what other people think. Do you? Okay, boo. And you'll have a very peaceful, positive, better life. Okay. So, but to eat and then um, we're gonna put up the curtains or the attempt to put up the rods. I was doing my pretty little thing, clothing pickouts. And I was on the phone with my best friend, Imani, because we didn't get to talk last night. She ended up getting tired um, and went to sleep. So we ended up talking today from like 2.30 up until it's 5 p.m. now. <laughs> my day went fast by being on the phone. But I was picking out clothes. I was multitasking. I was picking out stuff while on the phone. So. Oh, my God. Put my foot in this. So I was able to still get a little bit done, but I need to start speeding things up because I'm supposed to be going over to Kayla's house at 8.30. And I'll leave over there too, so a little girl's night, I guess. Um, so I only have all five, all six, all seven to get shit done, okay? Well, that's that. <laughs> Stuff in my mouth for years. So as y'all see, the curtains are not done, not hung up. Um, I actually need a screw for it. I think I have some screws, but honestly, y'all, I got 
I have like picking out clothes, picking out clothes for stuff like that, for Pretty Little Thing. There's so much to go through on top of Pretty Little Thing, certain things, the way things fit just don't always fit right. So yeah, I didn't even get around to that. Like that's really, it may seem easy and fun. Like, ooh, get to pick out clothes, things like that, but no really a task especially especially because I'm looking for things that actually will look good that I think will fit me right because sometimes when I order with pretty little things a lot of things don't end up fitting me so it's a little more difficult but I'm about to head over to Aaliyah I mean not Aaliyah's Kayla's house and I'm gonna stop at the store and get like some dessert or something and yeah, y'all. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Probably won't vlog too much, just say hello and things like that. Cause we're gonna have like a girls night. But other than that, go Louie. Go, outside, go. This song is so funny. It's like, he can't do anything without me. So yeah, that is that. I just realized this dog is crazy. Like when I leave, he really be trying to get out. Like he really has separation anxiety. Like. I just see my door and he's like, you can tell he's like scratching. <laughs> it's like, boy. He really has bad separation anxiety. Like, he doesn't even like to use the bathroom without me being out there. It's like really like a toddler, y'all. It's crazy. Go. Hey, get over here. Come here, Louie. Go. Oh, he's so hard headed, too. But yeah, so. Of course, I didn't get everything done that I needed to get done today, but I got a lot done when it came to my YouTube stuff, which was really important. I keep these damn curtains. I'm tired of waking up every day and I'm like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. But I just finally got this stuff for it and now I'm just like, I need a screw for it. But I was like, I don't wanna mess it up and put holes. I mean, holes can be patched up, but it's like, do I even wanna do that? Um, go. Do I even want to do that? Or do I want to hide somewhere? But then I'm like, I just have to stop doing this. Like, I can do it. I can do it. Go. Come here. Go, Louie. So. Yeah. I will catch y'all at Kayla's house. And we'll get a lot more done tomorrow. I hate when I just don't get things done that I said I'm going to get done. I hate it, y'all. Really do. Aaliyah. So, hello. Is the bartender tonight. Literally, yeah. cooking it up. So, drinking it up. This looks so good. Boom. You hear what I mean? Ooh. Can you pass, can you pass me that? I'm sorry. Okay. Well, we have tons of watermelon juice left over, but not so many lines. But I don't even know what to do inside. Loaded tacos. <laughs> Look at me. I got two. I'm like, you got one? Okay. Do you, boo? You know, I'm trying to get two. Two might go back for a third. <laughs> Cause Kayla know how I feel about her tacos. <laughs> when did you make them? Oh, so I am about to. Well, happy Thursday now. Um, um, I am making me a smoothie. Well, it's already made. So I'm about to um, um. <laughs> eat this this big ass pimple y'all and i feel like i bruised my face i don't know but anyways yeah i'm about to drink this smoothie and try to get these curtains up i didn't get home until i didn't get home until about four o'clock last night from kayla's house because we ended up just talking like we normally do so mm -mm. Uh, I put a little bit too much, um, I feel like milk, oat milk. It's good though. It's just like real watery, runny like. It'll do. 
because I haven't eaten anything. Um, supposed to be getting lunch with Kayla my, and our friend AJ. Just waiting for Kayla to finish her meetings. So in the meantime, I've been working and about to attempt to do this curtain rod again. I just really feel like I need to get my other tripod because this is just not doing it. It's like too low, you know? I don't like that. I want it to be wetter. Anyways. This bruise on my face, y'all, is irking me. So, got my smoothie. Um, I'll probably change, I don't know, we'll see later. Um, so let's get into that because me and Kayla for lunch at 3.30 and I wanna try to get this done. Before I go, because when I get done from lunch and come back home, this on my face is wet. Like, I must have really bruised myself. Like, must have really bruised myself. Anyways, I'm about to start putting this up. I must have really bruised myself, you guys. Anyways, I'm about to try to put these up, give my baby a bath. He needs a haircut. But his appointment isn't until the 20. Second now because the other groomers canceled. Like so ghetto, so ghetto. Anyways, let's get started on this because I want to get it done. I'm tired of looking at this space the same way. I'm tired of it. Shoot. Let me pause this real quick. I forgot um, to tell y'all. I was like, let me tell y'all what I put in my smoothie because I know y'all like. I'm like, I'm such a terrible vlogger sometimes. I told you I made a smoothie. Didn't even tell y'all what was in it. Um, I just have raspberries, strawberries, and um, I have a frozen pineapple in here, oat milk, and a few pieces of ice cubes. Mm. And white chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> and just to add a little razzle dazzle to it. Um, so yeah. I'm about to, I don't know if y'all have seen Sins of Our Mother on Netflix, but I heard about this story. It's been maybe a few years now, right? About this case about the mom and the kids disappearing and things like that. So I just seen this on Netflix. I, I might have just got on there. But um, I'm going to watch that while I'm putting up these curtains. Wish me luck. <laughs> I've been dreading it, y'all. Literally been dreading it. So... I didn't get to put up the curtain rods because I completely forgot. I even said this yesterday on camera that I need the screws for it. So um, after lunch, I'm gonna stop by like Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up the screws for the certain like certain part of the rod that has to actually stick into the ceiling. So I grabbed that after I'm on my way home from lunch. I do have to stop at the mall too to return something. <clears throat> and um, then I want to also go and pick up some ingredients for a Greek salad I just want to have made for like a good little snack. So I'm debating if I want to go to like the grocery store or go back to Trader Joe's. Um, and then pretty much it but I am on my way to the battery to go have lunch with Kayla we're going to this little Mexican spot we tend to go to this is probably like our third time going um it's kind of like you know really close to both of us so we don't have to drive far and um it's traffic time anyways right now so yeah 
So I'm gonna go there and catch y'all when I get there. I'm probably gonna meet, probably will be her there, which is like a first. Yeah, <laughs> she hasn't even left the house yet, so this is like a first. <laughs> I must say, <laughs> who am I? <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my way, so I'll catch y'all at the Mexican spot. <laughs> Doing it, girls, nightish again. Kayla wanted to do something, so. <sighs> That's what we're doing. I'm repeating an outfit. <laughs> okay. Never took a picture of this, so whatever. I wore this for Aaliyah's birthday. But yeah, same haircut. Ponytail's <laughs> not hitting like the other day. Like, it was hard for me to hide my tapers today. I don't know why, but you know, when you try to do something again, it just doesn't work. So, we're going to rock steady. I had to come home and take a night, a night. I had to come home and take a nap from um, when we were at the battery because I was burnt out. Like I didn't get home until 4.30 last night from being at Kayla's, so I didn't really sleep. So, my Chanel bag, and then these Giovanni Rossi heels. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 